Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Springboard Futures. Today, we're doing our next in the series of COVID-resistant trends for 2020. And here to join us with that is Melissa Gruenfeld, our chief curator. Hey, Hello. Melissa. Hello. Hi, Tom. Thanks for having me again. That's a pleasure. Um, so today, what, what trend are we going to talk about, Melissa? Modern Meadow. Modern Meadow. I love Modern Meadow. Okay. Sorry, I just got so excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> Modern Meadow. <laughs> So it's actually one of my favorite trends. Um, let, me, let me just pull it up while I'm talking. But one of the reasons why modern meta was a great post-COVID trend is because a lot of people um, during the pandemic went to the country. There are, you know, there's a strong association with being in the country and being safe in the first place because the incidence was much lower there than it was in citified spaces. Um, but that's, that said, um, let me just share my screen with you really quickly. Okay. And um, we'll jump right in. So, Modern Meadow, um, when we start with the trend, really what's great about the trend is that it's an evolution of the, um, uh, of the farmstead trend that we've seen, you know, over the past 10 years. So it's got a lot of strong traction. As we know, trends are about evolution, not revolution, um, especially when we're looking for trend comfort food like we are right now. So Modern Meadow takes Farmstead, a little bit further afield, as we say, where less animal, theme, animal themes, less um, really heavy, um, how can I put it, uh, you know, farm tools and things like that. Much warmer feeling. Melissa, do you want to talk about that palette a little bit? Sure, yeah. Along with that warmer feeling, I feel like it's just so soft. It's so inviting. And we have this palette of dusted hues, if you will. We have some earthy colors mixed with the floral colors. We do have some mushroom in the mix as well, which we'll see come into play later on as well. Absolutely beautiful. Um, when we look at the materials and the finishes that we see in Modern Meadow, again, we see a really interesting contrast of modern forms and more rustic materials. Just because they're rustic doesn't mean they're rough to the touch, they're very smooth to the touch, but the look is much more rustic. Looks can be deceiving. True. <laughs> and we also see a mix up here of of materials, so which yeah. I personally love because I think that juxtaposition of materials kind of gives it not only more visual interest, but textural interest as well. Mm -hmm. So you see here, you see a lot of wood grain, yet it's kind of up to the next level with a mix with, whether it's with ceramic, glass, metal. I just think it's all so cool, so I really updated. Love it. it looks great, especially the wood mixed into this dinnerware on the side and, and exactly. the way marble and wood here, just beautiful. It's like, oh, there it is, but oh, surprise. <laughs> so, yeah, mix. well, and also what we're seeing in here, more finished material, we're seeing a resurgence of enamel, which you see on the left, but again, mixed with softer materials like wood. So with the material mashup is really important. Um, we see blonde woods sometimes mixed with dark woods, but blondes are definitely more, <laughs> blondes are more popular, um, even here. <laughs> hey! So, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> um, blondes you know, but, have more fun, brunettes are more popular. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's important, especially now. So, um, and then we've got, you know, we've got um, the look of enamel, even in ceramics, these uh, striated ceramics that you're seeing on the left. What about form, Melissa? I love yeah. some forms that we see. Absolutely. So we see more of a reimagining of traditional farmstead subjects, yet they're they're given a sense of modernity without sacrificing that warmth of tradition. So you see here, you, you have a simple clothespin, I but it's not it. so simple. It's been, <laughs> it's been updated, right? So that, that it's just so fun. You know, there's like a playful, whimsical aspect to it. And I we're taking, it. sorry, Tom, what'd you say? I just, I just, I love that bench. It's I so fun. To see if I can get it to open up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. And, and you see kind of these like utilitarian, uh, farm items, yet you wouldn't necessarily know that they're farm items. So you see there's a milking stool there in the bottom in the center, um, but it's, it's kind of formed in this way. So it's a comfortable seat, you know, Absolutely. and, and um, the, other, the other photos as well are examples of that. Give you quiet. So then we move into form and detail. Some of the other interesting things here. First, as you notice on the left, there was a great mix of matte and shine, especially in ceramics, although it was done in wood as well. But this um, matte combined with shine really gave it a nice modern feel. And on the right, we're talking, we saw a lot of great functional textiles, this use, use of burlap and sackcloth, both um, for um, food service use, uh, for decorative use, for market bags, but really a really great reemergence of that, especially combined with wood. And that pretty much covers our COVID-resistant home trend for the week, which is um, uh, um, 
Modern Meadow. Modern Meadow, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Melissa, thank you so much for bring, for joining us. And of course. That again. It's, it was so much fun, and I look forward to joining you again, and I hope the rest of you will tune in for our next part of, in the series. I'm not going to tease it, but it's a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. And don't forget. They're all good. <laughs> Are. Take a good look at springboardfutures.com to see some of the other tools that we offer to help you get through this and to build your business in every conceivable way. We've got some great tools. We've got some amazing people and terrific partners. So come and see us at springboardfutures.com. Feel free to subscribe for free and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Don't forget to send us a like as well on here. I am. Thank you.